Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of The Sims Medieval. As I, you may remember, last time we tried to get the annexed territories and I failed miserably. So after I checked a little back track my safe slots, I found out that my one of the safe slots where my monarch already did the Omnius Tides quest, that monarch ended up being a level 10, so that was really much of help. So I went back to my first safe slot where my monarch was a level 6. And I didn't do the Omnius Tides quest on that one, but you still could annex um, territories, meaning that it doesn't matter if you choose the Omnius Tides quest or not. But after some checking, I figured out that our monarch needs to be at least a level 5 or 6 to be able to do the annex territories. So that is what our focus will be for the, for this quest, to get our monarch leveled up as much as possible. For now, uh, for the next uh, thing I want to say is to all my Muslim brothers and sisters, Ramadan Karim, I hope you guys will be able to do this smoothly this 30 days. And while our queen is walking back and forth doing things, I'm gonna talk a little bit more. Cause we know that in this uh, in this quest we're gonna have to take a take on a genie. And this genie is found in the, in a bottle which we will receive from a merchant on a time on the town square and before I'm gonna send her over there I'm gonna make sure that my dearest Queen Athena is focused up and I hope that my game won't crash all the time because that would be very annoying I've been trying to record this for uh, this already the third time so I really hope that my laptop will not give me trouble this time because that will be very annoying. <laughs> Meanwhile, I see that I need to hear three petitions and write. The Treaty of Ongoing Peace. Well, let's do that first before, I sa before we send her back to bed. Sounds like a good plan. Okay, where is she? There she is. So, which means that I probably will be saving a lot in this episode in order should my laptop think it's a very good idea to crash again at least i don't have to do a lot of things again replay it again so my knee keep on sitting in a tailor seat while recording this thing oh boy is holding court boring I think I'm gonna give her a new wardrobe later. And again, I kind of like this dress. That's a certain kind of flair. Okay, let's beat this up. We need three people to hear their complaints. And none of these people seem to have a complaint. Oh boy, what's this bad boss? Searching. Uh, okay. I've been curious about this new fat wearing eye patches, but which eye does your majesty favor? I uh, left. Yeah. Oh, thank you, your majesty. Not all my fears and questions have been erased. Your majesty, I, your humble servant, wish to begin a family. May I have your permission to conceive a child? What? Of course. Of course. Go, make babies. Your Highness is most sure. gracious. Mm. If I am lucky enough to have a child of your fine gender, I surely will name it after you. Twice! Oh boy. My father will not allow me to marry, but I am in love. I wish to marry my sweetheart. May I have permission by royal decree? Granted! Thank you, Your Highness. My sweethearts and I are truly in your depth. Oh lord, she's hungry. <laughs> okay. Let's go, let's make her some food and then send her off to bed. She's tired and she is hungry. Oh boy, did she just sleep on, on a couch? Oh boy, 
I need to take care of my queen here. La, 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 la. <laughs> well, well, we s speed up this thing by a lot. Let's send her to the town square when she wakes up. Cause I, there's a, there's a, f what do you call it? Like a food spit over there. So if she's hungry, she can make food over there. No problem at all. Uh, meanwhile, our chalice is going up for platinum, which is all fine by me, meaning we get more experience and our queen will reach level 5 as soon as possible. Which is our goal here. We, we want her to get leveled up as soon as possible so she can annex all those territories and we can continue with our main ambition. World domination. There you go. Come one, come all, to Kathleen's food of oddities and rarities. Magic amulets from faraway lands. The finest silks fit for the smoothest skin of a princess. Spices you never even heard of. Okay, let's talk to that merchant in a minute, but first I'm gonna get our queen some food. She's almost level 3, I see. Let's hope this will go smoothly. There we go. She... Let's talk. Let's discuss this rare good she has. What is it that you have? Well, if it is the fairy queen of Jakarta, perhaps an enchanted jewel for you, milady? A magic mirror that shows your true heart? No? I can see you're a woman of rare taste. Let's see, let's see. Ah, I know. Please wait a moment, milady. Well, this is gonna be good. Milady, come quickly. I found it. What is the that you have found, woman? What you have there is your standard genie in a bottle. It will grant you three wishes. Three, and no more. I'll give this to you and to Jakarta as a gift. Use it wisely, milady. Okay. Ask about this genie. It's true, merely stand before a mirror and say the words Genie, I am folk thee And the genie shall answer If I'm lying to you, may the pit beast take me This girl's nuts Still, let's go test it out Back home Let's hurry up <coughs> Okay, oh man, she's almost hungry again. Is there still some food over here that we can use? Spoiled, no. Spoiled that we don't want it. What about this one? Yes, you can get one. Let's get her one. Let's get her something to eat. I hope it's still okay. Oh, oh, wrong button. Oh well, who cares. It will give her a good buff. Wait, is she eating? Well, <laughs> the royal advisor is sleeping on the couch. Well, who cares? You would really expect that they, that the royal advisor and the build, the builder has their own rooms. But no, not there. Not over here. Okay, let's save real quickly. I really do not want to do this again. Just real quick. It's really annoying when you have to record it all again when you have done this quest several times. Okay, what does this oh. say? Hello, summoner. I am. That's right. The genie in the bottle. You may call me genie. You have to evoke the right of a wish. What is it that you wish for? Let's see. What should a la Lady Athena use for her first wish? No way. This for real? Well, well then clearly I wish for one million gold symbols. No way. This for real? And clearly I wish for eternal life. Ay, money. Okay. The thing in the Sims medieval here is that you you really can't die from old age, so it's a bit of a shame to use this option. So we're gonna go for the sweet gold symbols. Very good, summoner. Your wish has been granted. I don't see any gold. What's the deal here? Wait, where's my money? 
sekali. Hmm. <clears throat> it is gonna take a little bit. Yeah. Oh, you wanted the money here? Well, why didn't you say so, silly? This genie is a tricky one. I really need to watch my tongue when making these wishes. I should probably ask that woman who gave it to me about these wishes before I continue. Let's go then. Let's go back to the square. On high speed! There we go. Oh, he's already made a wish. Yes, yes. You need to be very specific when making the wishes. Be careful, you only have two more. I need to think this through before I make my next wish. I should ask around and see if I get some ideas from the townsfolk. Okay, let's ask the squire. Any wish in the world? Oh boy, I would love to ride a horse just once in my life. What about the merchant? My son, little Timmy, has been a child for over 35 years. If I had one wish, I would see him a grown man. A grown man. There's nothing wrong with being a child at heart. There's really nothing wrong with that. I'm 25 and I can still have a, I can still be a child at heart when I want to be. There's nothing wrong with that. As long as I'm be, as long as I'm. I can make the choices I need to make in life. Or as long as I don't hurt anybody. Nothing should be wrong about it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where are you going? Uh, fine. I'm going back to the wrong room. There are bound to be more people there, I can ask, considering it is the rule of three. I can tell you right now that it's going to be the rule of three when we need to ask people about wishes. Let's go ask the let's go ask the guard. <laughs> what would you wish for? My family has swelled to an enormous size and our house can barely contain us. If we could if we only could make our house a little bigger, just a little bit. But a wish is merely a wish. But I don't watch her, these wishes are terrible. Looks like I have to come up with my own second one. Okay, let's go back upstairs. To the mirror. Genie, I invoke thee. What would you guys wish for if you had three wishes? I probably would wish for a teleportation disc. So I can meet my friends that I met online and just hang really? with them for an entire day when I got the day off. Hmm. And I would wish for good health for my parents. Mm -hmm. And maybe I would wish for... Got your second wish already? Lay it on me! <laughs> uh, as I was saying, the third wish, I would really wish for that either I can go inside the anime world of my favorite anime or um wish for like this a device that that can make me pull an anime character back in this world <coughs> excuse me for her second wish what will lady athena wish for i've got it i want the unwavering devotion of a handsome suitor i've got it i want the unconditional love of a gorgeous lass the devotion of a handsome suitor. Your romance wishes are my favorite. It is done. Your new love approaches the throne room as we speak. Okay, before we're gonna do that, we need a parrot and we need to go kill the great bear. Hold on. Let's do our responsibilities first. Hunt for the great bear. Do we even got a parrot? No, we do not. So that means we need to go to the village shop and get us a parrot. And I'm gonna say. Whee! Where is our queen? There's our queen. Maybe she, he, she should have arrived by now. Maybe someone knows where my future love is.
I think that's right down a big... Okay, we got more bear. It's good that we can... While doing the quest for the bear that we can have chunks of meat. Means that we don't need to have... To worry about good food. Okay, well she's there... Okay. Where is the whistle for the parrot? Wait, let's buy this one while we're at it. It will do great for uh, for our quest as well. Oh, Amazon parrot. That was what we need. And where's the other one? Not to guess the worry. Buy the items. And let's go. Because you need those items as well for the quest. Make food. Let's make some rose the bear. And then go back here. Let's go. And after you're done eating that, let's go there. Yes, I know you're tired, my dear. But first you need to do all your responsibilities. You're a queen, you cannot ignore your responsibilities. Nope, not there yet. Now we're there. Yes, I know there. I know. I know. You're tired. Let's call this parrot. Not too fast. Can I put the better one? Yes, he's a good boy. He's a good boy. Set the parrot on... The yield number. Let's go. <laughs> and I see we finally also got platinum. Looks like you got fun. Now oh, that's a beautiful parent. Let's zoom in. Wait a minute until she's yes. There we go. And uh, let's go back to the to our throne room. Let's get get her some sleep. Wee. Go up. Oh, there is our bed. Let's get her some sleep. And when she's awake, she will need some food. And this is gonna take a while. So while well, that's working, I'm gonna save again. Don't worry, I'm just gonna cut these all out. Okay, to the good part. Oh boy, wait, walk off. Not good. Oh, that doesn't matter actually, it's gone in 24 hours. She's still sleeping and she awakens. Let's go hurry up. Let's get some bear soup in her system. And then uh, ask around about the missing lover. She she has a lover. There we go. Yay, she's level three! Athena, my love, it's me! Let's run away together and be in each other's arms forever and ever. Something has gone terribly wrong. That genie granted me a wrong, my, a wrong wish. Really? You asked for someone who, with the undivided attention, didn't you? <clears throat> well, let's see what this says. What's the problem? Les is a nice guy. You should really broaden your horizons. This genie is making me crazy. I need to consider every angle before I make my last wish. I need advice. Last is a boy, right? Okay, our advisor is asleep. And the builder... He's awake. What does he say? One last wish, eh? Genie making a fool of you. Seems like your life was a lot better without this genie. Just wish that you never met him. Her. Uh, it. Well, let's see what the advisor has to say. 
<laughs> Your arms are wishes? You should just wish for more wishes. How did you become queen anyway? I knew there was a reason I kept these two around. This round is mine, Jeannie. And I see she's almost hungry. Let's just give her some food. And then we're almost back at where I was before. Oh, hold on. Now, eat the bear soup. While she's eating that, we can queue up. So call the genie once more. There we go. Let's go. We're almost at the part where my laptop crashed the first time, so that's good for me. Back for your final wish. Fantastic! Let me hear it. I wish for an unlimited number of wishes from you, my personal slave genie forever. I wish I had never ever met you. I wish I never have gotten this genie. What would you guys do? Torture him for an eternity or, or just be rid of it? Let's be rid of him. He's annoying. Genie is gone. The genie is gone? The wish was actually granted? <laughs> what about Kathleen, pur purveyor of rarities? Go to the location. In case if you want to know, if you choose the that you wish for making him a personal slave, you, get, you will get 10 times more annoying. <laughs> Trust me, he starts counting and it will drive you nuts. At least the, your character will... At least your character will become nuts. Come one, come all, to Kathleen Boots of Oddities and Rarities, magic amulets from faraway lands, the finest silks fit for the smoothest skin of a princess, spices you never even heard of. It's... It's going on a loop. Oh boy. Oh boy. Well, if it's the very king of Jakarta, perhaps an enchanted sword for you. Yep, 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 yep. This he's it's going on a loop. It's going on a loop. We're gonna get this genie again. It's looping. It's looping. It's going on a loop. Oh boy. Venice love. Meshroop is she cares about hope. He just went back back in time. Why? Take the bottle. Oh boy. Well, hey there, stranger. No, nuh uh, not again. Okay, what do we need to do? There must be some way nearby to dispose of this infernal genie. Throw the genie in the well. Oh, come on, get out of the way. It has, this has been an awful day. You've completed the quest at Platinum Lab. Absolutely amazing. A very important lesson was learned by Lady Athena this day. Genius were terrible creatures and should never be trusted. Okay. As the renown of Jakarta grew, its political standing amongst the various foreign territories also arose. Before long, Jakarta found itself in dire need of a grand accommodations to house the ever-increasing flow of visiting foreign dignitaries. So with flurry of activity and peasant groaning, the grand reception, reception hall was finally unveiled. Congratulations! Okay, what can we do? The monarch is the sole ruler of the land, great responsibility, level 4, steel defense, compact zone. Okay, it doesn't look like we can do the territorial map just yet, I think. But let's give it a try. Hey, we can. Let's start. Let's. Yes, I know. We're gonna get these annexed territories right now. And now we got. We got 30 left and we can build another building. So which one shall we build? Which building shall we do? Let's see. Blacksmith, the market, 
um, you know what? Let's put the bard here. I, let's put the bard in there. I'm gonna get a bard. We already did some. Uh, okay. We did a male knight, so let's get a female bard. There we go. I'm not gonna even bother. Okay. Yay. We're gonna get ourselves some. Okay, so for our next episode, we're going to do Death of the Proxy. Let me see, these are for the annexed one. So we get a new Gans of Albyville or Golems Gone Wild. Well, let's start with the first one here, Death of the Proxy. Sad news had arrived from Yas Yasutia, the aged Jacobin proxy. The leader of the Jacobin faith had passed away from wasting sickness. The entire city state of Yasusitia was thrown into turmoil, awaiting the election of a new proxy. It was the time of mourning, it was the time of opportunity. Ah, no! I cannot do this one yet! Okay, fine. Let's see which one we can do. Golem's gone wild. I can't do this one either. Okay, what about the next one? New Gangs of Arbyville. This one I can! Haha! <laughs> So this one will we do we'll be doing next. Um hold on. This what does it say? New gangs of Arbyville. Jakarta Castle was hosting a diplomat from Arbyville, but the monarch could not ignore the sudden appearance of Arbyville gang members on the outskirts of time. Was the a diplomatic visit just a distraction? What were the rival gangs from a foreign land doing in Jakarta? There was little the monarch could do directly. There was no real evidence of treachery yet. However, someone less visible could investigate the situation on the monarch's behalf. So we can seduce or invade. And if we invade, we need the primary hero is the monarch and the secondary hero being the knight. Okay, what does it say? Perhaps Arbyville's own tactics could be used against it. If the monarch could keep the diplomat distracted without showing any suspicion, it might give Jakarta time to invade Arbyville and end the invasion before it began. Seduce. Jakarta was in dangerous political territory. The kingdom's allies might grow nervous if they heard that foreign diplomats had been executed within her borders. Of course, there were other ways to deal with enemies. For example, someone could seduce a diplomat, gain measure of emotional control, and then turn the foreigner against other invaders. What should we do? Shall we seduce them or invade them? You see, the aspects are the same. The only difference here is that with this we need the monarch and the knight. And an unmarried bard. Oh, so we're gonna, gonna marry someone in this one. That, that sounds interesting. Let's do this one. Gonna play with the bard next time. Next. Uh, let me see. There. Jakarta Castle was hosting a diplomat from Abbeville, but the monarch could not ignore the sudden appearance of Abbeville gang members in the outskirts town. Outskirts of town was the diplomatic visit just a distraction. What were the rival gangs from a foreign land doing in Jakarta? There was little the monarch could do directly. There was no real evidence of treachery yet. Someone, how, however, someone less visible could investigate. On the situation on the monarch's behalf so let's this will be our next quest for the next episode start your quest we're going to get Arbyville to our territory ever since scouts has been sent to Arbyville shady figures have been showing up outside the town at first it was just a rogue bandit from the from time to time but now full scouting parties were lurking over Jakarta's borders. Not long after diplomat from Arbyville arrived, gang members appeared and were moving freely through the city. No laws had been broken yet. And with a dignitary visiting as Jakarta's guest, the monarch could not risk an international incident. It was time for a civilian to take action. Well, that will be for the next episode. For now, I'm going to say goodbye, everybody, and I will see you guys next time in the next episode of The Sims Medieval. Bye-bye!